so let us discuss the next topic that is airway instruments right this is one of the very 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 important topics because we'll be discussing all the images which are used in anesthesia image based questions and in this year's neat pg all the questions in anesthesia were image based questions right so therefore this forms one of the very important topics when it comes to anesthesia 1 second the reason is that the instruments that will be discussing they are very 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 specific to anesthesia you will not see this overlapping with any other subjects right so these some sort of questions which are there which are just very specific to anesthesia are important from the point of view that you will not be getting this overlapped anywhere and you have to study it in detail all right so let us look at the airway instruments first and foremost is what do we mean by airway right airway is nothing but our breathing passage right airway is nothing but our breathing passage what do you mean by that it is the passage through with the air flows right it is starts right from your nose or your mouth and goes right up to the lungs right so that is meant by airway air way right the way through which the air flows that is known as your airway right so airway is nothing but this is our breathing passage it is breathing passage all right so right from your nose right to your trachea so anything any equipment which goes in this thing which helps us in maintaining the patency of the airway whenever there is upper airway obstruction or whenever we want to intubate the patient whenever we want to ventilate the patient all these things are included in your airway equipments all right airway instruments airway equipments let us start looking at each instrument one by one first and foremost is our this thing right this we usually call it as ambu bag right that is a common name by which we call it right is it an ambu bag no actually it is manual resuscitator manual resuscitator device right as we all know right we all go for xeroxing a page of paper right so what do we do we go to the shopkeeper and we say bhaiya we need a xerox of this right but i actually he is making a photocopy of that document whatever you are giving to that person so it is a photocopy it is not a xerox right so actually the xerox is the name of the company which makes that photocopier machine right so same way ambu is also the name of the company which makes it therefore we call it as ambu bag ambu also has got a full form which is like artificial manual bag unit or artificial manual breathing unit right so ambu we have also derived the term of that so it is ambu bag ideally it is manual resuscitator device right as you can see this is a bag and there um, is a mask which is fit on it right so this is also used for bag mask ventilation this is also used for bag mask ventilation it is also used for bag mask ventilation right so what are the different parts of this from here you are able to attach the oxygen tubing and reservoir bag right this is also a reservoir bag that you can see but it is a self inflatable bag once you press it it will be inflating on its own right once you press it deflate it it will be inflating it on its own right so this is a self inflating bag this is here that you are able to see this thing it is a unidirectional wall also known as the fish mouth wall or rubens wall this that means whenever the person is expiring it goes directly back to that atmosphere right it doesn't come back to this reservoir bag all right so this is a manual resuscitating device which is a self inflatable bag you are able to see we have got three bags one two and three there are three different types of bags here right so one bag is used for infants right why three types because of the size of the bag reservoir bag right second can be used for children and third is used for adults right it depends upon the size of the bag which is there so in infants it is usually around 300 to 500 ml in children it is around 500 ml to 1000 ml and in adults it is around 1 liter to 2 liter that is 1000 to 2000 ml right so these are the various points of this which we have discussed right it's consist of a self inflating bag it has got the unidirectional wall that we have just seen that is the fish mouth wall right so this is a 
manual resuscitator device and it is a must device in every ot in emergencies everywhere you need to have it right second as it was used for bag and mask ventilation mask is what these are the mask these are the face masks as you are able to see on the screen right these are what these are silicon face mask these are made up of silicon and these are face mask right silicon face mask yes they are made up of silicon that means they are transparent they are transparent right so as you can see they are in different sizes they are round or they have got an anatomical shape right so they can be of different sizes and two shapes that is round face mask and the anatomical body face mask right so all these what happens yes when you are using this what happens why it is used when it is used to create a seal around the nose and mouth right when it is used to create the seal around the nose and mask why so that you are able to ventilate the patient easily right when do we want to ventilate the patient whenever there is obstruction or whenever we want to do a positive pressure ventilation or whenever we want to give a bag mask ventilation bag mask ventilation right so these are the places where will you use it right and why and what are the hazards of this or disadvantage of this the disadvantage is that it can cause injury to facial structures right it can cause injury to facial structures because once it creates a tight seal for positive pressure ventilation once it creates a tight seal and if you hold it tightly for a long duration of time it can cause injury to your facial structures right and what is the other thing since some amount of breathing goes through the mouth as well it can go and inflate the stomach it can cause abdominal distension right and since it is above our normal physiological airways which is there it increases the dead space right it increases the dead space right and these are made up of anti static rubber or silicon and this is of variable sizes we have seen and also the airway maneuvers which are there head tilt jaw thrust chin lift are all performed using this positive pressure ventilation when we are holding the mask right the maneuvers which we are performed is performed when you are holding the mask all right next comes your airway which is a type of airway here this is a giddel's airway also known as oro pharyngeal airway right also known as oro pharyngeal airway the name itself says it goes via the oral cavity oro goes up to the pharynx oro pharyngeal airway right what is the size of this airway as we are able to see it has got different sizes size triple zero to size four and also they are color coded also you are able to see that they are color coded right so different sizes color coded and you can see they have got a flange here right they have got this thing which is of hard body plastic that is the bite block then you are able to see this curved thing that is nothing but that is the hollow thing hollow airway right inside it there is a hollow it is hollow so what will happen whenever you are ventilating through that hollow tube you will be able to ventilate the person through that hollow tube you will be able to ventilate the person so how do we insert it we insert it we take it we make it 180 degrees opposite and we insert it via touching of your of your palate right it doesn't touch but from there it we insert and then we rotate it 180 degrees and then insert the rest of the thing right actually its insertion is goes in the opposite way and then you rotate it 180 degrees and then insert the rest right so where it goes and sits it actually helps us in maintaining the patency of the airway right it is used to maintaining the patency of the how because usually whenever the patient is unconscious there happens to be the base of the tongue right base of the tongue falls back onto the posterior pharyngeal wall right so that results in upper airway obstruction so it relieves and prevents that backfall of tongue so therefore it helps in maintaining the patency of the airway it maintains the patency of the airways in upper airway obstruction it helps us to maintain the patency of the airway right and how do we determine the correct size in adults will you use small large in children which correct size will you use because it depends upon the size of your airway right so what how will you use 
the correct size is determined from the distance between angle of mouth to the angle of mandible right angle of mouth to the angle of mandible not tragus it is angle of mandible right it is angle of mouth to the angle of mandible that is how you determine the correct size of this airway right and since it is being inserted via the oral cavity and it is made up of hard plastic right hard plastic material so what will happen once it goes back it irritates the posterior pharyngeal wall it irritates the posterior pharyngeal wall right so what will happen once it irritates the posterior pharyngeal wall the patients usually have a gag reflex the patients usually have a gag reflex right so once you irritate that posterior pharyngeal wall the patients usually have the gag reflex and they are not able to tolerate this right not able to tolerate this airway insertion right it might also lead to spasm so therefore you require deeper planes of anesthesia in awake patients it is usually not tolerated very well so you require a deeper plane of anesthesia for the insertion of this airway in contrast what is this this is a nasopharyngeal airway this is a nasopharyngeal airway right so as the name itself says you insert it via the nose and it goes and sits at the same part that is it prevents the fall back of the tongue right again it is an airway which prevents the fall back of the tongue so it helps in maintaining the patency of the airway patency right it helps in maintaining the patency of the airway and relieves upper airway obstruction upper airway obstruction yes it helps us to relieve upper airway obstruction right so this is how you are able to see the airways right this is how it looks in contrast to the endotracheal tube there are differences one it is what a flange not a universal connector there are no markings present here yes the bevel end is there but it is devoid of cuff and also it is devoid of pilot balloon also it is devoid of your murphy's eye right we'll look at that when we discuss about endotracheal tube but this is a plain tube right it is also soft as compared to the oropharyngeal airway that is your giddle airway right so it is made up of your silicon at times right or pvc tube okay.